iron is this is But I guess you guys can see what's playing by TV channel and stuff. Anyway, I had a bit of a moment last night. And it kept me up a bit. Ugh, despite what the mountain of Chinese food I ate. <sighs> what was I? Will Smith. The movie uh, I Am Legend. Always loved that movie, but just like with reading books. That's why I like to read books. You can read a book. The entire book, you only take one line out of it, and you never read that book again, but that one line stays with you, like, forever. On the flip side of that, you can read a book a hundred times, just because you like it, and then finally, you get a little nugget out of it, and I don't know. Last night, it kind of hit me a little hard with I Am Legend. The scene at the end, when Will Smith was right all along, obviously. But even though he was right, and there's a really cool line from Thanos. He says, uh, to know so desperately that you're right, but to fail and lose anyway, right in front of everybody. <clears throat> but it's when he was pulling everybody behind the sliding glass doors at the end of the movie. And he was like, nah, look, look, just stop what you're doing for a second and look in the chaos. I was right behind that glass trying to get to him, tear him to pieces on me. In my situation, the glass is kind of fake. Nobody wants to walk up to me and do what they're pretending they're doing to me because I'll tear their fucking head off. And that's been the biggest problem with this whole thing. It's what happened with Bruce Lee. See, that's what makes this situation different from all the rest. Bruce Lee really was kind of a walking dragon. So all these other sheep and goats and retarded hyenas that the Illuminati just kind of suck up and either chew up and spit out or induct, if you will. But then they came across a fucking tiger who's ripping them to pieces for five years in front of everybody. Only miraculously, the masses still want the disgusting swine to win. But back to it. That's one trapped. It's like me and the truth. My endless Felix bag of tricks. But nobody cares. Like that horde of retarded zombies who are just hell-bent on their narrow point of view. And I can see it. I can see it in everybody's faces. All these snickering assholes the second I actually open that door and start walking towards them. It's, it's weird. It's so lame. All I ever did was ask a cute girl to say hello to me. Literally, that's all I did. But it's because I'm everything else. That's what I was trying to say in that post last night that didn't really come out too well. It's like, because I have an IQ, because I have these talents and can go down in that riverbed and sword whip and conjure and do all these cool things, that's what's making this situation. Turn off the tap. A certain singing cyborg once told me. At that point, the situation was so new, I was damned if I do and damned if I don't. Now, when I turn off the tap, it seems to have a tangible effect on the situation. All these crackheads and roaches who are pretending to be the spell writer, pretending to be the one who can sword whip and whatever else. But I'm still trapped in this stupid situation to where some Angelina Jolie type figure is cackling away behind the curtains, just refusing, blatantly refusing that main antagonist in I Am Legend, just throwing herself up against this facade. And so naturally, they're all trying to get me to pull the pin and blow myself up with a grenade when all I've got to do is wait. Crack in the glass, that right opportunity. And then, yeah. Let's see what I can do. For now, I've got to put up with the fact that... You know, 
it's an ugly, 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 ugly story, but I'm not letting go of it. And I think that's what's got a lot of regular people upset with me. Uh, they helped those swine do all those atrocity in the riverbed. They tried to blame it on me. They tried to kill me with it. It didn't work. Now they all look like idiots and the swine that they are, and they hate me for it. So every time I do take a step towards somebody screaming for help, everybody starts giggling. Oh, he's being cold. That's what I'm stuck with. Thanks, everybody. Go ahead. Look at each other and snicker and giggle and spit out some stupid joke. You're helping pedophiles torture children to death. And now everybody gets quiet and looks around and, and waits for somebody to say anything, like literally anything, with the air and arrogance and snark of it's supposed to be funny. So, oh, Gatorade. And everybody will snicker and blow off the fact that you've been helping swine torture people to death. Good job, Earth. Even now, you idiots know why ETs don't want to say hello.